What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vegas Golden Knights. And we're in the midst of a five game losing streak or our record will look a lot better than it is right now. But that's okay. We're still... Still had a great start to work with, so we could turn this around, and I already made some line changes, and I got some good ideas and for some other stuff that I might try out in a bit, but we're going to stick with, uh, the, we're going to see if the changes I made right now work, and if they, eh, if they're not really, really working, then I'll, I'll do the things that were suggested, but, uh, I need a... I'm going to mention a couple things here because I might, might not explain myself a bit better why my reasoning behind not signing guys when we had the money. It makes, yeah, you guys had good points. But my my whole point was we, we've we tried to sign free agents with all our money and it never worked for us. And it was some of the same guys that people were calling for me to sign again. But for me, it's like I didn't want to keep banging, like smashing my head against the same wall that wasn't working. So what I tried to do here was get – was, was get a team with that, that could have good chemistry together. All guys kind of close to the same age, or at least in the same age range. Like, yeah, we sure, sure we have a 31-year-old and a 29-year-old, but most of these guys are, you know, 20, 22, 24, uh, 23. They're all pretty close in age now. 19, 24, 22, 22, 23, 23. Like, I tried to get that because I think – in a lot of ways, that does help out. I, at least in NHL 17, it did. So we're going to try it again. It seems like it could work right now, but that's the reason. Yeah, I could have got a second line center, but I wanted to try to get this guy better. We've had this guy for a while. We drafted him 26th overall in like the one of the first drafts. And uh, he's got a really hard slap. Like, he's got a great slap shot. He's got great offensive awareness. I'm trying to see if we can maybe get this guy to boost up and grow and sort of break out as something. And... We also have other, you know, other centers coming up, stuff like that, like Maloche or uh, the Shovel Dave guy. Like we have, we have the guys basically. We have the players that can be that second line center. Monahan could have been okay, but I mean that would put us with three two way forwards in the top six, which I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, I already got two, and I'm still, I'm not even a huge fan of having two here. But Pearson, since we already had him, we tried him out. Uh, we, he, he picked him up in a trade. We're trying him out. He's basically just here now, spot filling until Pogi's ready because Pogi's going to jump up in that second line role. Pearson just becomes a third liner. That's the plan for him. Um, so yeah, well, Monahan, yeah, you do, you kind of do have a point. He would have been pretty, he wouldn't, I mean, it, it's definitely overall wise better than Jacobson, but what we're trying to do, I'm trying to get my guys to grow. Jacobson, we'll see if we can boost him up in this role. If we don't, then yeah, he becomes a trading asset. But I'm not going to keep just trying to go free agency and just try to build a team like that because it hasn't worked for the past, what, two, three years. So I just wanted to take a different route here. And it seems to be working so far. And uh, we'll see. All right, so we're going to try these initial line changes that I made, like Zadina up. If not, I'm going to utilize an idea that was given to me to do with Zadina, and I think it's a really good idea. And it helps us a lot more, too. And uh, we'll have to see. All right, anyway. We're going to uh, keep simming here. And hopefully, like I said, those line changes help us out, and we, we get some improvement here. But we're going to keep going month by month. I don't want to see us keep losing. We're in a five-game losing streak right now. we got to turn around with some wins right here. Oh, Jesus. Six. Okay, good. We, we ended it. But, ugh, a lot of losses in a row there. You hate to see that. You really do. All right, forwards, three weeks. Okay. we got to get some wins here. we got to get some Ws, but we just keep slipping. We keep slipping, it seems like. Just back and forth now. All right, there we go. There's a couple. All right, stringing together some wins. That's what we needed. We needed to get out of that hole that we were in. All right, we lose again. Okay, but we come back with a win. Not bad. We got to beat Arizona. There you go. Yeah, all right. LA, we beat them again. They're a shitty team. We, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we need we need to beat our divisional t opponents. Well, we're beating the shitty ones, but we're not beating the ones who are actually decent. So that's kind of meh, but whatever. Still doing all right here. It's not great, but we're doing all right. All right, just two weeks for defense then. All right, Anaheim. This is a tough team. We got to beat them, though. There you go. Okay, good. Four-point game against Anaheim. That's what we needed. All right, we're losing, though. We're still losing against tough opponents. So 21, 12, and 3. It's not a bad record by any means. That was a better month. Uh, it wasn't amazing, but it's, it's still better. Okay, but uh, point scoring-wise, I'm not too sure what's happening. doesn't look... I think we're dropping off still, and I might... Yeah feels like we're still dropping yeah oof man we are falling we are falling falling down the division 
Uh, we could, yeah, we could use a lot more scoring. 2.72 is not bad, but we could do better. Uh, 2.33, I think that's continued to decline as well, and that's not good. We need, yeah, I think even with those changes, it's declined still, and yeah. All right, 17% uh, for the power play. P penalty kill's fine. Power play needs to improve. Yeah, away record's bad. Home record's good. Last 10, 7 3 0. So we're trending in the right direction. Point wise, though, does Adina get much better? Mm. Wow, Hartnell's got a lot. Oh, wow. I was, not, I was not expecting to see him up there. Let's stick with forwards for now, though. Yeah, Jacobson's gets a point. The Padawan needs to get more points, man. Dublitz is doing great. Zadina's doing great. Padawan's not so much yet. Mantha is uh, dropping back down, but he's getting goals now. Okay. Hmm. What did this guy have before? Like 12 assists flat, so he got four goals and four assists in that stretch. Not bad at all. With Zadina on the line, he has a chance to get more goals because that's kind of how Zadina produces. He's like a playmaker type thing. Well, I think I'll keep going right here. Yeah, I think I'll keep going. Yeah, Pearson, yeah, Pearson's kind of dead weight. Yeah, we need a pogey to jump up. All right, well. Third, oh, that's, this fourth line's doing pretty good. Yeah, third and fourth line are kind of matching in points. Third line's all minuses, though. Yeah. All right, defensively, Hartnell's getting a lot of points, man. Getting some goals, too. 25 points, Van Rand 19, Yossi 18, Branstrom 13. We got a lot of offensive guys here on this team. A lot of offensive guys. Branch from getting better? No, not quite. All right, Morozov is a plus. That's what I need from him. All right, Bobrovsky still doing good. Gravel still doing good. Okay, so everything's working out. Is we decline yet? No, good. Okay, he's gonna decline over the course of this year, though. We can't really prevent that. That's just it's just gonna happen. So that sucks, but you know what can you do? All right, I'm going to try to go one more month before I make a decision on this move. We're going to see if we continue to trend downward in scoring and see how we do with the record. So we're going to go one more month. I might stop it if things are not looking great, but uh, we'll see. All right, come on now. Win some games. Uh, loss. one nothing loss. That's tough. couple losses. Okay, we come back with a win. We need to win this game too. We can't lose against the good teams and just only beat the so-so teams. We got to be able to compete at a high level here. Ugh, loss. We get a point, but it's still a loss. All right, Vancouver, divisional team. Beat them. There you go. Edmonton, divisional team. Very good. We beat them. Okay, well, we get a point out of that last one. But that was a big game to win against Edmonton because they're a tough team. All right, we're winning. All right, there's a streak. That's what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. Good goal scoring, too, in that. Yeah, this month was a good goal scoring month for us. Even in a couple of games we lost, we had some good goals. All right, now defenseman. There's what, 47? I could still, yeah, I'll still do two weeks. I can get away with it. Our defense, of course, is pretty much set. I don't really need to set my sights on defenseman as much. Oh, my goodness. What a month that was. Let's see what we did here. We lost, so we went 0-1-1, oh, 1-1-2, one and, one. One, one and, and then we did 2-3-1-3, uh, three, and three. Then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten, one, and three in that month. That's huge. That's that's a huge month for us right there. Yeah, that that catapulted us back on top. 31, 13, and six. Alrighty. First line looking like they're starting to get more points. That's good. Dublowitz is uh well, I think he's amazing. I know some people some a couple people might have had a problem with that trade, but I mean I think the proof is in his production right now. He's way better than Gaudreau. All right, 2.9 goals for. That's good. It went back up. Goals against, 2.34. It's good. Staying around the optimal range. Uh, power play. Okay, I, yeah, I need to address that power play. It's going up and down, mostly staying low. So, yeah, I'm going to try to address that power play. Penalty kill's fine. Nothing wrong with the penalty kill. We got to see if I can fix this power play here. Uh, last 10, 9 on one Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so... We're still not a perfect team, obviously. There's a lot to improve upon, and that's what we're trying to do here. All right, but yeah, Zadina's producing like a boss right now, so I think I keep him where he is. The Padawan, <laughs> what the fuck? Why doesn't this guy produce well? It's so weird. I think Zadina's just taking production from him at this point. Him and him and Dublowitz are killing it. Padawan's getting left in the dust. <laughs> so weird. All righty. Um, 
Yeah, Hart I mean Hartnell's got more points than him, man. What, what, what do you say to that? Whatever. Uh Jacobson. Yeah, he's getting a decent amount. Oh, you need him to grow, though. I don't know if he will. All right, Mantha. And then Pogi. Oh, 82. Man. All right, Pogi's ready. He's ready for the second line now. So here we go. We can move him up. And yeah, Tanner Pearson's producing like a freaking the second liner anyway. So in this case, this might actually be a good good time to try out what I was thinking. Or what someone suggested to me. Because I kind of want to get the paddle on going. I want to try to optimize. Right now we have two guys producing like crazy. And then it really drops off after that. Which ain't bad. But I I could perhaps make it, make it better. Yeah. I could perhaps still optimize. I almost don't want to split up this line. Because they're doing so good though. But we have well we're going to be mixing stuff up anyway. Pogi's going to come up. That puts a sniper there. We produces like such Jacobson. Yeah, then I can't I can't have a Jacobson Mantha Pogi line because that's too not enough playmaking here. So I think as good as Zadina's is doing right now, I gotta I gotta try this out and we'll see if it if it fails. Then I'll I'll move it back here. But uh yeah, all right. Defensively, really good production from all over the def the defense man. Yeah, really good production. All right, goaltender wise, Bobrovsky. Here comes a decline. Yeah, he's starting to decline now. Uh, we're hoping Gravel can get a, some jump here, at least change his role into a starter so he can start getting, but he's, he's getting a lot of, he's getting a few starts, so that's good, or at least games played, and uh, he's got me 22 points out of 15 games played, well above what I need him to get, and he's got decent personal stats too, so all right, now I want to check out growth, since we did have some growth there, I want to check out where it's coming from. Okay. All right, Pogi. Yeah, Pogi got the growth. His hand eye passing, puck control got better. Awareness got better. Discipline got better. Good. Uh, shot got a bit better. His wrist shot. Uh, defensively, it got better. Skating got better, and he's got a pretty good physical category, and it's got high discipline, so he doesn't can take a lot of penalties from that. I like it. I like it. Pogi ready for the second line. Van Ran mostly statistical. All statistical, I think. Yep. Okay. Turakov. Uh, statistical decline. Along with some morale. Oh, he's got some natural growth. I see that. Stick checking, natural growth. Got some morale growth to it as well. Uh, strength, natural growth. So he's still growing naturally, which is nice. 80 overall. This guy might actually get up to second line. I prefer him to stay around third line, though, to be honest. How's? I think all statistical. Yeah, all statistical right now. Hinestroza, I don't really care. Probably statistical growth with how this is. No decline, okay. You know, see glass. Um all decline. Or statistical stuff, I meant. Okay, Fairchild. Okay, good. Natural growth to his hand eye. And to his body checking. Okay, not too much, but whatever. He's 81 at least. Uh Brandstrom. Hopefully that's some not nah, statistical growth, I think. Yeah, that's it. Uh okay. All right, well, he's still only 24. I just need to, I love him to get up to like an 83. Just be a solid 83 for me in the top four. That would just, uh, that'd be just perfect for this guy. All right, anyway, um, that's it. Okay, AHL, Martinook's growing quite a bit. That's good. I don't know if that's any more than he's done, but we'll just look at this. We're not going to go too in-depth. Ooh, hello. Uh, Thompson's an 81, so <laughs> I might want to make that move. Holy crap. Thompson's an 81. Wow. Okay, well, I'll, I think he's definitely ready. For, uh... All right, Shell Dave. Okay, he's, oh my goodness, 80, 75 now. He's growing quick. I like that he's still consistently growing too. This is really good news because we need this guy, I'm hoping to be a number two center. I mean, Zadine, oh, uh, yeah, we're going to have to make a choice. Well, I'm. You know what? Zadina can do it part time. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make the anyway. Oh my God. Malosh is at 77 now, too. Oh God. We're getting great growth right now. Beckett's a 76. Uh, Del Rio grown. That's really good for us because it's looking like this guy is probably going to be. Uh, probably going to be the top goaltender. I mean, if you look at the growth between him, I mean, Del Rio, he's 67 now. Whereas, what's this guy's name? Oh man. Kondratiev is 71, but three years older. Like, yeah, it's looking like Del Rio is going to take over and be be the future. But I'm, I'm still holding on to both of them. I don't have to trade him yet, so I'm not going to. He's still young enough. Still growing well enough. Still has good value. 
All right, well, great growth here. Looks like we got some potential moves to make. And I kind of don't want to split up this fourth line, but I might have to. I might just have to. All right, well, I'm going to move. I'm going to try something here. Okay, we're going to do this. Someone said, suggested try uh, Zadina out as a center with those playmaking skills. He's doing fine on that first line. Him and Dublowitz seem to do great together. So it kind of sucks. I'm trying to like like switch some things up right here. But I want to see how this will work. I don't know. I don't know how it will work. But I, I want to at least try it. So, yeah, we're going to go with this. If, our score, if we start to slip, if we have scoring slip and stuff like that, obviously I should move it back. But, oh, yeah. And we can move Pogi up. But, yeah, with... Uh, we needed a more of a playmaker here on this line here at this point if we're going to move Pogi up. So Pearson down to the third line. Howes is still listed as depth, right? Yeah, so I could I could move this guy down. He's a, They're amazing pluses together. They all work well together. But uh, is Turkov listed? Yeah, he's going to be listed as third line now. Huh? Okay, well, I can't move him up. He's just got to sit there. I don't care if it stunts him a little bit. He's just, He just has to chill there. I, I, can't, I can't replace him with Fairchild. Fairchild, he would be a really good... He could be a really good top six guy. We'll see. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to mess around right there. Okay, so Howes, I could move Howes down and bring up the other guy, which is Thompson, because he grew a shit ton. He's already registered for third line, actually. Uh, damn. Well, I might have to play him fourth line if I bring him up, or I could just leave him. I mean, he's already 81 at 20. Like, he doesn't have the greatest defense. This guy's looking like a scorer. So maybe I put Pearson down on the... That's a crazy it's a crazy thing to do, though. Pearson all the way down there. I don't know. We also got to take a look at this power play. Well, I would like Howes to make... Yeah, Howes has got a good offense anyway. So yeah, I'm going to make that move. Send down Howes. Bring up, uh, bring up the other guy. Yeah, bring up Thompson. Send down Howes. It sucks, but uh, Howes still is his depth. So he, he got some games played here. Put him in the AHL. He might actually grow throughout this year too. And we might be able to just ship off Pearson at some point, And that might be the option. All right, Devin Thompson, nervous about his call up. I'm just going to... I'm going to have to stick him fourth line for now. I know he's listed as third line, but I'm going to have to just put him fourth line for now. I don't really have a bet. Oh actually no he would be good as a yeah all right well i gotta give pearson some extra ice time in here so if i'm gonna have pearson on the fourth line yeah i gotta give him some extra ice time somewhere this guy i can't i don't know where this guy's gonna fit in quite yet but uh you know what he might we might have to turn him into a right winger or something like that we'll have to see or turn pogey into the right winger well i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen quite yet but uh yeah we're gonna try out these lines now we did some more swapping around okay um yeah okay power play that's right that's right okay now yeah we got to try to optimize this power play yeah he's not on it anywhere okay we got zadina pat i'll keep this together well no because they still weren't doing good no 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 yeah let's mix it up power play still wasn't doing good let's get mantha jacobson pogey yes uh jacobson's only got a good slapper hartnell's getting a lot of points how many of them are on the power play nine that's pretty good yeah how many is branch from getting probably not as much on the yeah only four on the power play i'm actually thinking to get another forward in here and keeping this guy because he's got a hard slap shot put him on the point i know branch really good and all but uh i kind of don't want to take his time i could take yossi's time away as good as yossi is he he's only got two power play points yeah no fuck you yossi get out of here I'm actually going to replace you entirely. Put Hartnell up there. These guys will be on the one-time sides. Keep Branstrom on his one-time side. Put Jacobson on the point. Yeah, we'll do Jacobson on the point. And then I can either Fair... I might, I'll do... Uh, what's his name? We'll keep Pearson on here just to hopefully keep him happy. He's got good enough... He's got good offensive stats. Got a decent shot. He's on his one-time side. We'll see if this will do something. We'll see if this can do something. Because I want to try to keep Tanner Pearson happy until we most likely channel i could put fairchild on there which is also another good point and he would be pretty good there but not he's not as good i mean he's it's it's less likely that fairchild would really becomes a scorer on this team it's just his stats are kind of weird i picked him up to give him a shot but yeah let's try this out we'll, we'll try this out we'll try van ran and hartnell now on the top pairing for the power play and then jacobson branstrom back here 
Just all our offensive dynamos now. Yeah, we'll see how these let's see how these lines will work out for the power play here. Yeah, we'll try that out. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, edit lines now for HL. I'm just gonna stick in what's his name everywhere. Yeah, house. Just stick him in everywhere. Yeah, everywhere that that guy was, put him in there. All right, three on three, same thing. Put him here. House. There you go. Yeah. Uh, this is a little backwards. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Can I optimize? Yeah, I can optimize that. Extra is better. Not you. There we go. That's what I want. Parsons can be in there, even though it's a grinder. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All righty. So, there we go. There's some line changes. Called some guys up. We're going to try this out. Try Zadina as the center and see how that works. Try Jacobson over on the wing now. Uh, yeah, now we're going to try him on. Yeah. Keep Pogi on the one-time side. Sucks having Pearson down there. Is he penalty killing too? Do I want him? Our penalty kill is doing great, so I, w I don't want to move him off. Yeah, even if he is there. No, I'm not. Our penalty kill is doing way too good right now to make moves, so I'm not going to. All right, so hopefully uh, Tanner Pearson isn't too pissed about fourth line time and power play time. <laughs> we'll have to see. All righty, uh, let's keep going here. So things are working out, man. We're only four points. We're four points out of first, but four points ahead in second. Well, they got a game in hand, so a natural two. All right, we'll see. We'll see how we continue. Let's get another month done. Up to the deadline, basically. Yeah, up to the deadline. Now, I'm, I, I'll be poised to stop if, we, if we're not doing good with these new combinations. All right, come on now. All right, there's a nice win. All right, couple good wins. There we go. All right, loss right there. That's rough. Didn't get a point out of it, but be San Jose here. Okay, where am I going? Two there, two there. Okay, any more A's here? Yep, A here. Three weeks for fours. Probably just one week for defense in there. Yeah. Uh, a couple losses in a row. I don't like that, especially against our own division. There you go. Come back with a win. Beat LA, man. They're terrible. Better not lose to them. There you go. All right. Staying on top of things. Colorado, good team. Uh, lose to them. One, one goal loss and no point. I hate those. All right, good win against uh, Nashville, though. Come on now. There we go. Big win. Couple wins right there. Beat Dallas. All right. There we go. 40, 17, and 6. Our lines are working no matter what we do. I love it. I, that That's the key right there. If you can have a team that can play well together a variety of ways, like with a variety of lines, you're in good shape. And I think we've damned that right now. It's shown. Our production and stuff has kept up with all of our line swaps and stuff like that. So we're one point out of first right now. I got to check. Uh, before I before I forget, man, I'm going to be so salty if they still don't have a fucking goaltender. Where are you at? Oh my god, 80 overall, they have this record. It's so silly. It's so silly. Oh my god, look how they do. <laughs> so freaking silly how they're that good. They got a good team, like, don't get me wrong, this is a great team. Like, it's a great, you know, a great offensive core, great defensive core, but, oh my god. That freaking goaltender situation is ridiculous. And they're first in the division. Like, I would understand, you can make the playoffs with a team like that, sure. But to be first in the division... A little crazy, but whatever. All right. Let's check it out. Let's check it out here. All right. Goals for keeps going up. 2.97 now goals against. Went down 2.29. Uh, power play. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying a lot of stuff to get that going. Doesn't seem to be working. 16.1. Maybe I do want to split up that line. Try to stretch some of the wealth here. Who knows? Yeah, maybe move man. Oh, wait. I don't even have, oh shit, am I missing Mantha on the power play? That just dawned on me, yeah, I'm th oh my god, I think I'm missing Mantha on the fucking power play, how silly is that? That just dawned on me right now. Yeah, if Zadina, yeah, 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 I think I am. Yeah, if, yeah, I am. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. When did I remove him? I guess when I moved Zadina up there, that's weird. Okay, anyway, um, our home record's incredible. Damn, I can't, oh man, I can't believe, how did I, 
that's just crazy. I just missed that completely. Well, <laughs> all right, anyway, I'll fix that in a sec. Okay, Padawan's getting up there in points. He's almost got 50 now at this point in the season. Uh, Zadina, yeah, he definitely dropped off a bit for the point scoring, but we're trying him on the second line. Jacobson, Mantha, got equal amount of points. He's got power play points, but I think that's from before I took him off. <laughs> All right, yeah, Jacobson, yeah, see, they're both kind of produced like hybrids. Adina was more of the playmaker type guy, so we're seeing if they produce uh, produced better. All right, we also got Pogi now, who's going to be, he's on pace for a 20-goal season now, probably a good, I don't know, he probably won't get 50 points, but uh, he keeps growing too. I mean, holy crap. He's got, he's got eight, wow, he's got five power play goals and eight points total, not bad. Turikoff, he's a little goal scorer back there. I don't know how, but his shot's pretty bad, but he's goal scoring. Fairchild, I don't think this guy's going anywhere. Uh, Pearson, he's uh, not unhappy at least. Oh, uh, yeah, I know he's starting to lose morale because of ice time. That's rough, yeah. Can't really do much about that. We're going to probably trade this guy. As good as our team's doing, I think we just got to trade this guy. We could bring up Howes again or something like that. I don't know. Or we could just hold on to him. And go crazy. All right, Thompson came up, played 13 games, got four points, and is uh, even. Not bad. All right, defensively, Van Rand, 42 points. Hartnell, 39. Yossi, 29. Branchum, 26. Yeah, Van Rand and Hartnell are the future here. Unfortunately, I was hoping Hartnell would jump up and so we could trade Yossi, but it's not looking like that's happening. So, you guys might still want to trade him here, but I think we should use him still. I don't think we don't really have anyone else who could jump up into a role if we trade this guy. I mean, I could optimize it and get someone better, but nah. I think we're all working. Everything's working right now. All right, goaltender-wise. Yeah, Bobrovsky's declining, but he's still doing great. So, yeah, Gravel's doing good as well as that backup. Racking up the points and the wins for us as well. So, we're doing good. We're doing good. How about the AHL? Uh, Shovel Dave, 52 points. Melosh, 46. He's a 77 overall now. Oh, he's listed as fourth line. Well, shit. Well, it's looking more and more likely that I should trade that guy now. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking if I want to bring up Melosh, I think I should trade him. He's not great defensively, but if I want to get this guy into the top six somehow, makes sense to bring him up. All right, Thompson already left. Yeah. Brunette, 73, Parsons. Beckett, 77, listed as depth now. Oh. Well, I'm going to keep him down in the AHL, even though he is listed as depth now. I I, I mean, I could, like, we could make this the place where we trade. Well, it would work if we looked at it, and I'll show you what I mean in a sec, though. Uh, Nakamura can use more points, but that's all right. He's jumped up to a 70 overall, so he's still growing. Bergfors, 66, Tulipov, okay. Goaltender-wise, Skinner. Neither of them are doing too good. Oh, well, actually they are, but the records aren't good. Yeah, we're just not a great team, but... The personal stats are great. The records aren't good. Yeah, Skinner's pretty much done, so I think I'm... I'm, I'm I've, uh, I've, I've ruined him at this point, but whatever. I'm trying to help him out. All right, well... All right, so let me show. Let me. We do have the option to trade Yossi here now that that guy's listed as depth, to be honest. And I'll show you how we can do that. So we probably are going to want to bring up Malosh, which which means we should trade Pearson. It might hurt a playoff run, but I think we should continue to keep going as we're going here and try to improve our team like we are because it's. It's been sort of working here. Yeah, Pearson's... I want to get that contract out of here as soon as possible. So, yeah, if we did that, then we bring up Malosh, right? Because he's listed as fourth liner now. Which is kind of crazy that he's already listed as fourth line. And uh, I don't think my HL team is going to make the playoffs. So, let me just check their record real quick. Yeah, they're down in fifth. Oh, they could, but they could make the playoffs. But it's really close. It is it is really close here. Yeah, it's very close. All right, anyway. um, Yeah, let me go back to checking on this. So, yeah, if we moved up Malosh, we'd probably trade Pearson. 
Hold on the cheese stuff still. Yeah, so and then we we could trade Pearson, and we'd have Thompson up here already. We can move up um, Loesch. We can keep the other guy in there, and he, I know he's listed as depth, but he's already got NHL time, so we could keep him in the AHL just to help them out. So we move up Maloche, and then that's our fourth line. Chistoff, I can move him over since it doesn't look like he's going to grow anymore. Get Maloche in the center where he belongs. Yeah, we could do something like that. And then defensively we could trade Yossi but the thing is what do we get back from him? what do we need back from him like we could get we, we could do is get a rental like kind of well I don't want yeah I'm not ready to give him Jacobson yet yeah yeah you know what I, I'm leaning towards not trading Yossi just to hold him on to him for the playoffs I'm probably I won't re-sign him I'll let him go probably since I don't think he wants an extension anyway I'll probably most likely let him go or we could trade Theodore That's another option. We could we could hold on to Yossi, but trade Theodore and bring up the other guy. So, like, Beckett listed as death now, right? He's not amazing defensively, but he's a defensive defenseman. He needs that. Awareness is all that he's lacking, really. If he gets if he gets better with that, I mean, hell. Nima Lion and Silas is minor, yeah. Got plenty of defensive defensemen. That's good. We'll need him. Okay, um, I'm just trying to figure this out here. Yeah, if I brought him up, if we traded Theodore, I don't, like, I, what I like about Theodore, though, right now is, oh, he is losing Morocco's eyes time. Interesting. I didn't think he was. Yeah, I thought he wasn't losing Morocco's eyes time, but he is a bit. All right, uh, he's a, he's a plus player, sure. Not amazing plus player. His defense is okay. Yeah, I mean, we could shake that up. But the thing is, if we do that, We're still going to need to, yeah, uh, we're, we're basically banking on Branstrom being ready for top four next year, Morozov getting a bit of a boost, and Hartnell basically being ready for top two. That's kind of what we're banking on if we trade Theodore. It's, it's, we're banking on a lot, but it could work out. Yeah, it could. We might just let Yossi go. We might trade Theodore here. Bring up the other guy. Get something back for Theodore. Like, I might even get a depth guy and a pick or something like that. Because we don't really have depth of, depth defense. I mean, if you look at our scratches. We have Doherty. That's one option. He's not the most He's not the most amazing option, though. So, Eakin is really pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was saying to scratch glass and put this guy in there. I'm trying to still get glass to grow. But, yeah. Egan's not too happy, but I still want to hold on to him for injury. He's still good. But yeah, I think trading Tanner Pearson's a must. I want getting rid of that contract would be great. I mean, we're not, we're not going to use him anymore. Uh, yeah, that's that's this is my line of thought at least. And if we are going to make a trade, I th I say we hold on to Yossi. I think I think we could use a guy like this for the playoffs. Theodore would be the guy I would trade if I were to trade. That way we could bring up Beckett, give him his time in the NHL. And see if we can get him better. The other option is just letting him sit there and go with our defensive core as it is right now. Thing is that these guys are kind of low on their plus minus. Whereas Branson produces a lot. I think a lot of it is power play though. No, it's only six of his points are power play. They are, yeah. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know about that. That's a tough call. That's a really tough call. And, like, what else do we get for, like, him? Like, yeah, we could go for, like, a rental player here. But Jacobson's doing fine. I mean, he's producing really well. I mean, his stats, you, you can be fooled by that overall. His his offensive stats and his shot is is really good enough for him to produce. So, I'm, I've been trying to get this guy better. I don't know if it's going to happen. But I, I say we keep rolling with him, at least for this year. If he don't grow over the offseason, he's still got, what, an extra year? Yeah, he's still got another year. So maybe probably next year I'll make the decision to trade him when he's 24. But yeah, I think Zadina is still doing all right here as that second line center. You can spot fill for now. Might move back to the wing at some point once we have our other centers get better. But yeah, okay. Another thing I don't. No, yeah, I do have Mantha here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess when I move Zadina back, I for I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason I thought. See, so yeah, we're trying to like spread the love here and like try to get. 
different stuff. But okay, we got to think of replacing Pearson now on the power play, obviously. So we might want to move Zadina back. I don't know. Maybe keep Zadina on the wing. Jacobson's on the point. We could try maybe Thompson. Yeah, maybe we could throw. I mean, he doesn't have much of a shot. He doesn't really have much of a shot, though. Yeah. Yeah. But I could try him out. If we're going to get rid of Pearson anyway, it, he's better than Fairchild. So, yeah. We're going to be getting rid of Pearson anyway. Might as well throw him in there. Yeah, no one else is really good enough. Yeah, I, I, it'd have to be Thompson. That's who I'd go with at least. Or maybe Malosh, depending on how good he is. No, Thompson. It's got to be Thompson. Malosh isn't ready. Oops, didn't mean that. Yeah, that's that's at least that's what I, that's my line of thought here. Well, hold on to Fairchild though, because he's he's really good defensively. I might actually just hold on to the guy, hold on to this guy anyway, and turn him into a two-way forward because those defensive stats are freaking filthy. I'm honestly that's probably what I'll consider here. As long, I'm hoping he doesn't grow too much more. I don't want him to actually at this point. I want him to stay at uh where he is. In which case, it might be good to switch him with Turakov, and but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot I could do right now. There's a lot. But yeah, those are my thoughts right now. You guys can let me know about that. I'm thinking about trading Pearson. We can get him out of there. And then maybe trading Theodore to bring up Beckett. Or just keep Beckett where he is. And keep our defensive core as it is. Plenty of options. You guys can let me know about that. But either way, we're in great shape right now. This is a tremendous record. It's working how I wanted it to. Get our young guys together. Let them start to sort this thing out. And here we are. One point out of first in our division. So I'd say it's working a lot better than our uh, when we were getting the free agents. So that's good. And yeah, what else can you say? Trade deadline is here. Let me know about those moves. And uh, of course, let me know what you thought about our team's progression in this video. Did I check growth here? I don't think I checked growth. Did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. We got to check growth here. It's the deadline. Always got to check at the deadline. There's a lot more growth. All right. So, yeah, Thompson got a lot of growth here. I'm happy about that. Pogi. I think that's about the same amount of growth he has. Maybe a couple more ticks in certain areas. Yeah, of course, because he's up to an 83. Oh, that awareness is great. That passing could get up there, but that awareness is great. Mm -hmm. Yep, this guy. This guy is the real deal, man. What do we get him? Third overall or something like that? Yeah, it should have been second overall. Stupid Montreal. All right, Van Ran. I think that's, yeah, I think it's still all mostly same stuff for all these other guys. Yeah. All right, let's go to the, uh, in the system here. Uh, holy crap, Macaulay. <laughs> that is a lot of growth in one year. Very excited about that, man. Very excited about that. Awareness is good. Passing could be a bit better, but that's all right. He's a power four. How's his shot? Even. That shot's pretty weak, though. Yeah, for where his overall is. Defense could be better. A uh, good skater. Wow, that got a lot of growth. Uh, decent physically. Could use more aggressiveness, but he's got low discipline, so I'm actually glad. Not bad. Berg Forrest is up to 66. Yeah, he was there when I checked him. Demander, doing all right. Beckett, yeah, 77. He got some good growth this year. It makes sense to bring him up, but it's just, yeah, I'm torn. You guys are going to have to let me know. Uh, Nakamura's got some, yeah, he's 70. That's good. Shovel Dave. I wish this team, I hope this team can make the playoffs, man. But if I, when I remove, when I remove Malosh from them, they're going to drop. But I, I have to bring up Malosh, man. We got a lot invested in this guy. He could be a really strong second liner for us. Like we probably like switches, like, position or something like that if we, it'll depend it all depend on what what we do but yeah snipers usually work better on the wings here all right but a lot of good growth del rio okay still up there whatever yeah a lot of good growth here and uh, we got some options moving forward with trades and call-ups so i want you guys to let me know about everything i was talking about trading pearson uh, you know, what do we get back for? Maybe probably just some picks. I don't, well, we could, we could pick up another depth guy. Like, yeah, we could get a depth guy in that deal, but I don't know. Or we could get someone to help out that AHL. Hmm, that's an idea. Yeah, we can get someone to help out the AHL in place of, uh, in place of Malosh because I don't actually have someone to replace Malosh. When we call it Malosh, we're not sending anyone down here. And what, we bring up Neil kind of, we actually don't have anyone really good who's scrap. We got bitten. I mean, but is Bitten good enough? I mean, we could play him. We could also trade Bitten. 
I mean, I got Lauko, who's sort of kind of growing. But, yeah, I could just, like, pick up some, like, weird veteran score to try to help him out, try to get him into the playoffs. Like a nice little right wing. I don't know. Someone. Someone there. Hmm. Yeah, to help out these guys here. Could work. Could work. Yeah, we're going to be missing a score there for sure. I don't know. I could uh, search around for that or just bump everyone up and put in Bitten. Yeah, who knows, man, who knows? Neil Kynes got a pretty damn good shot. Hmm. Anyway, well, there's a lot of options here. So you guys can let me know about the trades, the call-ups, etc. Remember to leave that like, and I will see you guys in the next one.